This is attorney Andrew November, and you're watching Andrew's Answers. Uh, this is probably my 10th video on social media privacy, and I'll continue to make them as the insurance companies are continuing to look at my client's social media activity. Now, when I first started making these videos, it seemed that the insurance companies were picking particular cases to do the investigation, whereas now I'm seeing many insurance companies look at social media just as a matter of the initial case workup. So as you can see from the link that'll pop up in this video, we have previously provided instructions on how to make your LinkedIn private. The LinkedIn is a problematic social media website more so than the others because it's related to work. So many people who have worked will have a LinkedIn profile connected to their career or to their industry or to their past employment. I would encourage you to still stay active on LinkedIn to see what's going on in the world of work if you do intend to go back, but be careful about what you're posting. If you're posting, chances are you're posting to something public and because it has to do with the world of work, I've seen the insurance companies bend, twist, and manipulate posts from LinkedIn specifically to indicate that the person is seeking job or seeking some type of entry back into the world of work. So please, again, click the link that we will provide in this video. Make sure your LinkedIn is private. And of course, make sure everything else is private. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Venmo, and all the sites that are popping up since uh, the last time I made a video. Again, all social media should be private and all of your loved ones who may tag you in their posts should also make sure they are private as well as the insurance companies have been spending a lot of time on my clients, friends, and family's accounts. So keep it private and call us if you have any questions. Thank you.